Hello and welcome to our reflection on Facebook today. My name is Jane Wilde and um, I'm going to share with you some of the things that have happened this week. We have had somebody come into our garden to cut back some of the hedges and things which desperately needed doing. Um, and in the midst of one of the hedges there was a tree trunk which the gardener came over to me and said shall we deal with this? Because when you put your hand on the tree trunk and pushed gently, there was probably about a foot movement. And you heard this creak, uh, which suggested that it wasn't very long for standing upright. So we agreed between us that it was dangerous and had to be cut down. Fortunately, it didn't have any branches on it and was relatively easily removed. In the process, we had quite an exciting discovery. The first one was that there was a section of the um, tree that was concave. And in that section, there was a whole colony of insects and um, wood lice, all sorts of creatures that had made their home there. So we decided to cut that tree into sections and put that particular bit in um, a nice place behind the hedge so that those creatures continue to, could continue to live. More exciting, however, was that in another section of the tree, tree, we found a bumblebee's nest. And so we removed him, and you can see him in the picture, uh, in the little holes inside the tree, and put him in a safe place beside the wall in part of the garden. And I look forward to meeting said bumblebee, when he uh, comes back out into the world later on in the spring. We had made the decision that that um, tree was dead, that it was of no use, that it had to be removed. And yet in that tree, we found new life. We found the promise of something quite exciting. The other thing that we did this week or I did this week during Messy Church, was make a tree. Now we made this tree because we were talking about the passage in John where Jesus talks about being I am the vine and you are the branches. And we did lots and lots of activities about grapes and branches and all sorts of exciting things like that um, and have lots of fun. Um, and we made this tree to remember that we are the branches. And if you'll notice, we made it into a cross to help us remember that we are in the branches of one who gave everything that we might have life. And the final thing I'd like to share you, with you that we did this week um, was slightly more amusing in sen the sense that it was part of a game we played in our youth group the idea was to balance something on your head while everybody else guessed what it was. Uh, I had on my desk uh, an uninflated globe uh, and therefore thought it would be quite good to see if any of the young people could guess what a folded packet of plastic was on my head. Um, they didn't guess. However, they did persuade me to blow the gold globe up uh, and I have been um, lax in putting it down. And so this globe is sitting on my desk at the moment. But in the light of what we were doing in Messy Church, thinking about how God gave his son for us and that we are part of that connectedness into Jesus, into all those people who are part of God's creation. This globe reminds us that we are connected not just in the churches around our locality, but we are connected to God's creation throughout the world. People who live in such far away places as Mongolia, Malaysia, Alaska, Central America, Peru, Bolivia. People 
who are cherished and loved by God. And we are called to cherish and love them, which has challenges because it means that we have to take into account the times when we are selfish and demand resources for ourselves and don't share them with others who are part of that vast community that is God's children. And so I have had lots of challenges this week. I've had the challenge of remembering that out of what appears to be dead, there can be brought new life, that we are part of that new life living in and through Christ, and that that life and that community spans all of God's creation. I pray that each of us will know and understand and be committed to that love in God. Have a good day and remember that God goes with you.